Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and in a desperate attempt to come up with ever more tortured gas puns, I'm going to be calling this one No Gas, No Glory. Now, there is a chance that there will be a break in the gas. Um, there was some unbelievably loud drilling in the construction work next door lately. I cannot believe that has been going on for over, over a year now. Um, but hopefully they are just on low level drilling and a bit of hammering at the moment so um, if i have to stop between puzzles i will do so but the plan today is to go through five more of the daily sudoku genuinely approachable sudoku puzzles that uh, sam philip and clover create on the discord server and this is quite a special edition because this takes us up to day 200. Um, I have recorded a video of every one of those days, uh, normally, well, always, I think, in chunks of five days. Sometimes that's not five puzzles, but I'm expecting it will be today. And the fifth of these will be number 200. So very well done to those guys on bringing up this milestone, which they did, obviously, uh, last month. I am still catching up with that and really looking forward to giving this a go don't forget our content on patreon where you can still take part in the uh peter c hayward puzzle hunt uh, sudoku hunt which is brilliant and of course you can look for our merchandise and uh you can say bobbins with a mug or uh all of our apps and so on now they're on the links under the video the first five links are to these five puzzles for which I will go through the rules now. The first one is Thermo Killer by Sam, which um, has normal Sudoku rules, as I'm sure they all will. Digits in a cage cannot repeat and must sum to the indicated total. So those three digits will add up to 11 with no repeats. Digits along a thermometer must strictly increase starting from the bulb. So a combination of two fairly basic rule sets there. Then we have some more Thermo Sudoku in the second puzzle, Wolverine by Philip Newman. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Um, again, digits along thermometers must increase from the bulb to the tip. Digits along the indicated diagonals cannot repeat. Um, yeah, that is the case. So fair enough, another couple of extra regions. Ooh, then a sort of similar looking one in that there are diagonal sets of uh, given digits by Clover. Uh, each line contains a set of consecutive digits, such as 2, 3, 4, and 5. However, the digits along a line do not necessarily appear in consecutive order. This is what we call Renban Sudoku, hence the title, uh, from a Japanese word who I won't attempt to translate. Then we have Consec Pairs by Sam Kappelman Lines. So if two cells are separated by a white dot, they must contain consecutive numbers but there's no negative constraint, so these two could also contain consecutive numbers. And then finally, we will be on to Hawkeye by Philip, um, in which we have arrow Sudoku, digits along an arrow must sum to the number in the circle, and digits in corner circles must appear. So this is, this. these four cells have a corner circle in them, and those four cells must consist of one, three, four, and eight because of the um, numbers in that circle. So those are what we have to go on. This one itself is number 200, Hawkeye. Um, I never know why Philip calls the puzzles what he does, but he sometimes explains for us. And, oh, I do want to say thank you very much to everybody who replied yesterday about the sort of direction of the channel and whether they want harder or easier puzzles. I mean, obviously, the genuinely approachable Sudoku puzzles, which at least one person thought are still pretty difficult, although you could maybe do them, um, they are at the easier end of what we do. And there were some very interesting responses throughout. So thank you to everybody who replied on that. That was really interesting read and uh, we certainly may take your advice on board now let's have a go at these puzzles i'm gonna have to try and remember to restart my clock every time which i do by restarting the puzzle so i know my times although i'll add a timer on as well let's get cracking so this is a thermo right here we have a 24 cage that must consist of seven eight nine and the thermo tells us the order and immediately looking for symmetry from Sam, not quite getting it. 
an eight gauge has to have a one, and that must be on the bulb, therefore. That means an 11 gauge must have a one or a two. Now it can't have a one, it must have a two. The eight gauge here must have a one, now that can't have a two. So that's one, three, four. This could be six, seven, eight, but there are alternatives. Ah, this nine gauge can't have a one. So that's two, three, four. Um, this now can't have a two, so that's one, three, four. Ah, the givens tell us about six and five in the top row. How are we going to get out of the perimeters, though? Ah, this one is five or six just by Sudoku, by every digit it sees. Oh, and I've just realized these are five, seven, eight, and nine, because this is a nine cell cage, so everything that's not in it in the central box must appear outside it. Oh, sorry, I'm not on number lock. Right, there we go, five, seven, eight, nine. So those two can't be a seven. That one can't be an eight. That wasn't actually all that helpful. Um, right, with five or six there, this is either nine, eight, five. No, it's not. It's either, it can't be nine, eight, four. It could be nine, seven, five, six, eight. It could be eight, seven, six, five, nine. And I don't know which time wasting while I try and think about that. Ah, oh, but I suppose I know that it must begin with the five or the six, must it? Can it? Yeah, it can't be seven, eight, nine. So that's suddenly a pair. This. Since it can't be 8 and it can't be 9, that must be 7 now. And then there's an 8-9 pair. That doesn't quite tell me which is which, but that was a surprise. Now there's a 5-6 pair. This can't be 5. This is not working as I expected, so maybe I can do the same here. 20 must be... I've got 35 left. I have to take either 7-8 out of that or six, nine. So there's always a five in the 28. Then this can be six or seven, this can be eight or nine. So there's no five in these two cells, and in fact the five in these four we've now established as here. Wow, this is not the way these puzzles normally work. So that gives us the bottom row. Um, no, oh, what have I done wrong here? I've just overtyped a cell. That's better. Eight, nine, three, four, five. This can't be a seven. That doesn't resolve it. This can't be nine or eight or five or four. That's not the way to go. What about the 11 cage? No, ones aren't very restricted. Right, so the this 11 cage is either 2, 4, 5, or 2, 3, 6. Oh, look, there's an 8, 9 pair there. Don't know what to do with that. How about this 20 cage? No, because of the uncertainty here, there's, there's even... Oh, well, it can't begin with a 5. But it could be... Three eight nine, four seven nine, six. It can't begin with six. It would go too high. Interesting. So it must end with nine. This can't be a seven. So that must be an eight. I think that must be right. Oh, that was not where I was expecting to get information. So we have a six seven pair. That six seven pair is looking at this cell really helpfully. Um, now, one in this cage must be here. This must be a three, four. It's almost so pressured, I'm beginning to wonder if something's going wrong, but I haven't found anything yet. That can't be an eight now. Um, two and three are in that set. That's not helpful. Two, four, and five. That's a five. Then we've got a two, four pair in the other cells in row six. This can't be, it can only be six or nine now. It couldn't be a two because that's too high on the 
So that's a triple. So these are two and four. That would be too high on the thermo, it was the thought I didn't quite manage to finish there. That is six or seven. One in this box goes here. Nine, one, five, two, four, three. These are from six, seven, eight, forming a triple up top. So I can put in a two here and a five here. That two gives me a one on the thermo. Three there in the box. This is not a straightforward puzzle to me. Now, these two add up to eight. They can't be three, five because of the no repeats rule. They can't be six, two because of that. So there's seven, one. That's not a seven. This is six or eight. Again, these things are not being resolved. That's not a seven. So the seven in the central cage is there. That's going to fix quite a few things. Nine on the end of that thermo. This becomes a seven. Now I can do the maths in the cage. Six and nine. I think that's all my cage is fully done now. One, six, five, seven, three. So that is two or four as well. That must be eight or nine. Three, seven, eight, nine, five. That's a naked single two, which forces this to be four. Then we can put in one and six in the middle row. This has become four. Uh, this is a three. That's a four and this is a two. Two, four. That's become an eight from the nine at the top of the grid. So yes, I can do six and five now. Seven and six must be right there. This has become nine. And now we're just finishing off, but, but this has been a bit of a marathon actually. Four, two, nine going left. Then what have we got here? Seven there. Eight, six, this is an eight, and one more digit, which is a one, and there we go. And that took 724 nearly, so not very quick. That's a very clever puzzle. There's, there's detail in that that needs to be found. There might have been quicker ways using the perimeter than I was finding. So let's try restarting Wolverine. Um, he loves naming things after X-Men now. These thermometers, right, they must begin with one, two, or three given their length. So actually, I think we can fill all of these triples in. And each of the thermometers must be successive digits, like a string of actually um, consecutive digits to, to enable one of them to begin in three and another of them to end in seven. So we don't have an eight there. Um, so this can't be seven. That knocks down the whole beginning of the thermo. Seven, six. That can't be six, so that can't be seven. Oh, and the diagonals. Right, this can't be six, which has an effect coming down to the bulb. And now we've got a one, two pair on the bulbs and that one is the three. They're successive all the way up. So that's as fast as my fingers can manage that. That makes this one a seven, which are successive all the way down. And this one must be also successive all the way up now. And there's the thermos done. Two, five, eight, six. That's a one or a three. I'm looking at the diagonals now. Four, two, five, eight, six, one, three. That's a seven or a nine. Oh, this is a naked single nine, though, using the diagonal again. That's helpful. Well, it felt helpful. The others are one, two, or three, and that one's not a three. So I should probably just be focusing on regular Sudoku, like seven in the top row there. Um, two... Oh no, we've got one and two at the ends of this. Actually, I should do that. One and nine at the ends of this. And nine and eight, yes, and I can do those at the end of, of the first thermometer, which is where I should have started that exercise. So I could have just written in the other numbers. Three, four, and five across the top. Not very helpful. Two, nine, seven, six. 
Oh, where should I go next? That has become a seven. That's where I should go. On this diagonal then, we've got one, three, and nine still to go. So that one's not a three, but that's a quadruple. So seven and eight to go in those two. That gives me seven here. Eight is not being useful. Yes, it, no, eight ends up in one of those two. It's not very helpful. Um, two, one, eight, seven, four, that's five or six, which doesn't really spur me on. Oh, that's where three goes in the bottom row. That's where two goes in the bottom row. Then we have a five, six pair. So that makes that a four, eight pair. This is a one, seven pair. Um, six must be here. Eight and five, yes, they can be placed. And now we are cooking along the bottom row. Five and nine in those cells, along the bottom rows, I should say. Now, those are from one, three, and four. So it is five that we've established up here. That can't be a three anymore. So the three on the diagonal, that's quite useful, is there. There's a one, nine pair on that diagonal, making that a three. This has become a one on the diagonal, and the diagonals have proved very helpful in this puzzle. Four there, and all. oh no, I can do the one eight pair, thanks to the seven eight pair in the central box. Then we get three nine and two. In fact, we can finish the final column. What did I do there? Nothing. Um, I think unwinding columns four and six is gonna be interesting soon. Three in the top, in box one goes there. Oh, I can't do the others. Right, three in the top row goes there. Five, four pairs still to go. Um, one in box four. That fixes the diagonal. That promises to be quite useful. Although I keep looking at the things that aren't helping. Eight and six there. Oh, come on. Three, six, seven, eight, five, one. So there's a nine, it's there, right. This row is good. Two, five, four, five. And then we've got two and six. Now I'm gonna do these columns four and six. Eight and seven, four and eight. They must all be right now. This five, nine pair has been resolved and we just finish off with the nine, two pair. And there we go just under five and a half minutes this time. So, yeah, I mean, what, what really helped me at the start was having seen this sort of pattern of thermos before. And it was very useful to note that, given that these three bulbs are different, one of them must be a three, and that one must go all the way up to nine with successive digits. And that means the one with two must go all the way up to eight, and the one with one must go all the way up to seven. And once you've got that insight, that really is genuinely approachable. So then the next one is the Renban by Clover. Let's restart that and see how we go. Right, these two on this Renban are um, six, seven to make that work. And these two are four, five. Clover often provides us with a bit of symmetry. We must have six, seven, eight there. Um, that's not really helpful pencil marking, but never mind. That has to be a one, two, three. Does this have to be four? This has to have a four on it, yeah. That has to be four, five, six. So there's no six there. The six on the Renban line is here. Oh, this is a one, two, three, four, five Renban line. That's another good way. Um, come on. Oh, that four, five has been resolved by the given. Now, down here, the nine must be on this one. The six then must be on this one, and in fact, we know where. This must be two, one, three in the box, and a four outside it. So we can fill in nine and five in the column. Um, one, two, three, four, five, seven. Not quite sure what to do next. This has to have a six on it, doesn't it? It's interesting to note this has to have a five on it as well in 
one of these two positions because there's always a five on a five cell rent band line. It's probably not the way to solve it, but whichever one it is, those must now be an X-wing of fives. Now, oh, maybe that doesn't help. It was interesting though. Five, seven, nine, eight, six, five, four. There's got to be a four in one of these two cells. It almost can't be here. In fact, it can't be because that would be five. I oh, know it could be, and that would be six. Okay, seven X-wing there and there. So seven in row three has to be here. Well, that's quite useful given that the five now must be there. We can do the four and the five. That was slightly advanced, I have to say. This is either, oh, it must be eight, it can't be three. And then this must be a nine to finish off the box. And that lets us finish off its Renban. That's not a four, so that is six has resolved that pair, which resolves that pair. Um, this now is a naked single nine. So it's Renban becomes useful as a result. Four, five, eight. One, two, three, and nine. So there must be a two on this one. Um, hmm. So four must be up here in the column. That's two or three. This has kind of descended into me fiddling around with stuff, which wasn't the impression at the start of the puzzle. Three, four, five, seven, six. That's now a one, two pair. That has been for ages. Could have done that a long time ago. Nine, eight, six, one, two, three, right. Five, seven, four. Three, eight, nine, they are all becoming right ins. Two and seven, they resolve by virtue of the seven, nine pair. Then we get six here, eight here. Can we do one and three? Yes. And that resolves the one, two pair. This is a three, that's a two, that's a three. That's a one, two pair, which annoyingly doesn't resolve yet. We get a one there. This seven nine pair does resolve. Oh, I know there's a two on this line, so it's there. And it's going with a three, it turns out. And we've just got two cells to finish, and that's not too bad. And there's actually some neat stuff in the middle of that, but the beginning was relatively simple in a way, looking at boxes one and nine, but um yeah, it was quite interesting regarding rows two and three there. So four minutes 16 is recorded as my time here. That's all right. That should get me two hats. There are always two hats for a quick solve in this puzzle or one for a slower one, which was probably the case for the first, or a dinosaur if you just get there without particular speed. Right, consec pairs. So... One must be next to two, or this is a giveaway top row. Three must be next to four. Five must be next to six. Eight must be next to seven. Um, and then down at the bottom, it's not such a giveaway, although that three helps. This now can be five or three. There's a given. This can be seven, and it can't be five anymore. So this must be nine. So those top and bottom rows very helpful. One on a consecutive is always good. This can't be two because of the given. Any other givens on consecutives? No, that's it. Right, what's that pair from three, four, five, six? Not interesting. That can't involve a two. It's from, ah, this has to be six, seven because of the eight in the box. Then we get two there. In fact, we know which way around six, seven go. And that gives us 8-9. There's an 8-9 X-wing there. 2-5-3. This must be a 6-7 pair. We get 4 here. 3 is resolved there. 7 and 6. Finish box 4. Is this... This involves a 4 now. But I don't know whether it's 4-5 or 3-4. Yes, I do. That can't be 3 or 5. So that's 4. Then 5-9 repair there. 2-3-4. Seven, three, three, four. That must be a six flanked by a one-eight pair. 
two five nine in this bottom row, no, in this middle row. Um, that's where three goes in the column and a one nine pair. That must be seven in the box and a two eight pair, which resolves box five. That's a nine eight pair. This is a one four pair. I think these remaining rows are going to be where the sticking points come now. That has to have an even number on it. Is it six or eight? Don't know. Seven, no, no. This one has to have an even number on it, which is six. So the one in the column is there. And then we get three, eight, and they can be done. So that helps with nine, eight. Now there's got to be an even number on this. It's a six now. Six, five fills the bill. Three and one up there. We've got a two and a four still to go. That one nine's been resolved. That fixes nine eight. That fixes eight two. That fixes two four. It's nice when two rows unwind in pairs all the way. Um, this can't have a two on it anymore. So the even digit is a four, which is there. It must go with a five. And we can do six, seven, and six, five. And the top six rows are all finished now. One, two, one, four. Um, what do we need here? Seven and nine. So we do those that way around, which fixes six, seven, which fixes six, five. And then it's just a four and a five, and that should finish it. Three minutes, 16. So for a SAM puzzle, that's very quick. I mean, this this was a total giveaway, and this was an almost giveaway. It wasn't hard at all. And after that, I don't know. In some ways, the puzzle was more admin. Like it was, it, it helped to know the rule that every white dot pair must have one even and one odd number on to be consecutive. That that's always a useful tip if you're solving consecutive puzzles. Now, let's move on to the fifth puzzle 200, or day 200. Some days have had more than one puzzle, which is why it's not necessarily puzzle 200. But this is day 200 in the gas series. Well done to the guys for getting here. Let's restart this Hawkeye puzzle with quads and arrows. Hawkeye's probably another Marvel character. Anyway, let's go. So if that lot adds up, that is one, three, four, and eight. So the eight must be in an eight, one arrow down here. Don't know about the three, four, but the, the, the circles must be nine and seven. So these two are five and six. Now that means this is a three and this is eight or nine. That means there's a three up here, but the seven goes with a two. So that happens on this arrow. That must be a three five arrow. We get eight nine up there. That's a four six pair, which means the four is not down here, which we could have known from the three we got. So I'm gonna have to wait to find how they resolve. Nine, that nine makes this an eight. So we sort out the five six pair. This is now a one two four set. Eight three, this is a seven nine pair, which we can write in thanks to the clue. Six and five, lots of stuff done in the top row. Now that can't be a four because there's no one three pair here. So that's got to be a two four pair. This is a five eight pair and that resolves this. So box one's finished. Um, let's look down here. We've got one three eight nine to go. Well, that has to be nine down here with an eight one arrow and three here nine in this box goes there we've got a one six seven triple this is two three on the arrow leading to a five then we have four and six here but again no the arrow's the other way around i was going to say we can't have four on the arrow that's not true now one three six seven there seven goes with one is eight three goes with six is nine so Seven goes with one down here. Nine is three and six. That sorts out the four, six arrow. The three also sorts out two, three there. This is a three, two, four triple with three in the middle. 
now. What what's going on on the arrow? Oh, it's got to be four one five. I was just working out. Oh, didn't add to seven or eight um, because the row wouldn't work then. One five seven two three four. So eight six nine here, and we can write them in. Uh, let's look up. The middle column? No. Oh, don't know what to do there. Eight, right, that is where three is. So we get eight, one, nine, three, seven, four. Um, that fixes these two. Now we've got two, three, four, and five. So that's got to be three and two add up to four. Three and two add up to five. We get a four there. Are my arrow keys just not being responsive, or am I mishitting them all the time? I think I know what it is. Um, that's a seven eight pair from the clue, so we get nine at the top. Five and eight are resolved. So are two and four over here. How about one six seven? Oh well, one is resolved out of them. Five four there. Eight four six three nine five. So that's a naked single one. Two and seven gives us the six, seven pair, which six is right, one there. Now that's a two, four, and one. Had to scan all the way down to the bottom with stormtrooper like ease. And there we go, just under four minutes. So I think those last four puzzles have gone pretty quickly. What were they? 521, 416, 316, and 356. Just that first one that really held me up today. Interesting. Uh, but a very quick set of gas. No gas, no glory, as I said at the start. But some glory, plenty of glory for the constructors, reaching 200 in this daily series. Thanks to them for their efforts from everyone on the channel. Um, and everyone who, who looks at that Discord channel is what I mean. And... Uh, well done, but uh, thank you for following as always and hope to see you again tomorrow for more Sudoku. Bye for now.